the moment. Um, Shan and Sophie are they're just normal, they're just friends, they're just having a laugh and you know she's there for her when everything happened with Sally and she was there for her when she has the fallouts with her dad and with Rosa. I do think she's really glad to be back in Weatherfield but because she's got this really good friendship with Sophie I think when she comes back she wants to spend time with Sophie and Ryan isn't too happy with the fact that she doesn't want to spend all her time with him. Really? She wants to go? Yeah, only because you're bullying her. I'm not. I just thought you'd want to be with me. Yeah, well, I do. But I don't let my mates down. Ryan and Shan fall out. You're not worth fighting over. You're off your head. And then Shan goes back to Southport and Sophie just kind of says to Ryan, look, you know, Shan's a nice girl. You're not going to get anyone nice, so I'll stop messing about. But then Ryan kisses Sophie. What? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I... No! So she tells Shan, and Shan comes back and shouts at Ryan, and then Ryan turns it on so fair. She's twisting it. What? She's always fancied me. She's always saying, God, if only you were single. He's lying. Is he? What? You can't honestly believe him. She eventually finds out that um, Ryan did try and kiss so fair. So then why would she text you saying you're a liar if you're going to be the only one that sees it? I don't know, do I? She's a psycho. Here's the bus, come on. Yeah, but she's not, though, is she? When she comes around, I think Sophie's more, like, relieved more than anything because she's fell out with her best friend, and that's, like, pretty much her life, you know? So she comes around, and then... It, I think it's just one of them kind of moments where you don't know how you're both feeling. You are more important to me than any lad, do you hear me? <laughs> I personally see it as when she first lent in, I was like, whoa. And then I kind of thought, well, hang on, this doesn't feel so weird. <laughs> oh, God, go on. Oh, Sham, where are you? The kiss. <laughs> I can remember it now. We was both, like, dead all right, and it was fine or whatever. And then I was stood outside waiting for my taxi and like Sash come and stood with me and I went, you know what Sash said? You've got quite soft lips, you know? She went, Brooke was gonna say the same thing to you. And we was giggling, she's like, don't tell anyone. I'm like, no, I won't, but I can't keep secrets. So there we go, all over ITV.com. <laughs> it was challenging, but mo not because we was nervous about doing the kiss. It was more challenging because we wanted it to look natural and wanted it to look good. And we wanted it to, like feel right for the audience as well. We weren't so much bothered about having to do this, we just wanted to pull it off. That was what we was more nervous for, I think. The Kiss is one of many dramas to come. It could go in so many different ways and just just keep your eye on it because things aren't going to be normal. Not with Sophie Webster anyway. <laughs>